here we are with summertime rendering episode seven and yeah last episode shit got crazy we saw the shadows we saw how many shadows there are i mean we don't know if that were was all the shadows and we basically know what is gonna happen so we have like a set time frame now a time limit until shit is about to go down and we have to prevent that so yeah will be interesting what is going on we saw also interesting things with like a professor having like a shadow in his wheelchair maybe yeah interesting to see if he's if he knows if that's a shadow or if that's just a person that turned into a shadow and uh, removed the fake disguise um so yeah many questions weird stuff can't wait to see what's gonna happen now but yeah if you like what you see leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and i would say let's get to the episode Oh. Or does she sense that that's a shadow? She got a message. So, wait. Why is he <coughs> Why is he at the docks? When he died in the last episode, he respawned on his way to the funeral. So why is he now at the docks? Maybe that's a second version of him? Because like I said in like one of the episodes, we know that he was... At the first day, he asked a customer about the Honka Bazonka lady. When he didn't even really knew about her and was confused, right? And at that point, there shouldn't have been another version of him because it was the first day, right? That he was here. He didn't even die at that point. So maybe that's the second version of him or something. I don't know. It's just kind of weird that he now is at the docks when in the last episode, uh, episode he was on his way to the funeral already. Hmm. Oh boy, <clears throat> I'm just like, <laughs> it's one of those animes that is just super confusing, right? Where you don't know what is going on for the majority of the time. You can just speculate and wait until it gets revealed at some point. And there's a woman again. Boink. Okay, she connects the dots, but it is. Yes. Did maybe Ushio gave her the message? She knows her. Yeah, maybe she gave her the message. <clears throat> maybe it was a copy of Ushio. Who is this guy? Oh, is this a guy that is at the shrine that they want to talk about? So it was yesterday? They have the funeral one day later? That is interesting. So much text! Yeah, 
Yeah, that's the professor dude, right? Okay, so she knew them. I guess that makes sense. I mean, we knew that she was here already at some point. <clears throat> Do we see little Shimpei? There were doppelgangers. <laughs> now she connects the dots. Oh, so he came later. <clears throat> and there she goes. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought she wouldn't she would maybe try to find him. <laughs> I mean, we only have, like, one police officer. Of that time. Serious look. What the... <laughs> I guess that was a makeup to hide the Marks. Hmm. Did the other one that died fourteen years ago had the same marks on the neck, maybe? Who's this? Maybe the mother of the... Oh, that's okay. I thought maybe the mother of the kid. Of the little girl.
I mean, <clears throat> something that I just r got into my mind right now is normally Oh, 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 something that just came to my mind is when Ushio got killed by a doppelganger, maybe. So maybe it is a mother of her. Oh. Oh, she's mad. God damn. Because normally when a doppelganger kills someone, they just pulverize them, right? But Ushio didn't get pulverized. Okay, the hunter's in on it. One of them. Okay. So that's Mio. So there's only one that can make duplicates. It seems like. Booba. God damn. Yeah, I guess this must be like really shitty, right? Knowing that the people you grew up with, that this is happening now. So that's interesting. So there's only one shadow, one shadow that can make duplicates, like doppelganger of people. It was maybe first a little girl and then... It's Mio? Oh! Oh! The girl maybe made a copy of Mio at the funeral and switched places at that point. Maybe? Oh, he sees it. He knows now. And she's looking. Yep. Overrised. I wonder when did this all started? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh. So she got copied yesterday already. What? 
Oh. Oh. Sis? Oh, yeah, the copy. So maybe the next day the dad is already a shadow, a doppelganger at that point. Yeah. Oh. Mm. So when did the dad change? Like, did he change? Like, did he, like, did the shadow take over at some point? Oh, here maybe he gets killed. Out of order. Had gloves, so it might have been Nagomo. Oh my god, I'm getting so confused here. Because she has normally the black suit and the black gloves. <laughs> oh going on a hunt killing some shadows oh <clears throat> here we go Oh, is she inside and kills a doppelganger because she knows what's happening? Yep. Oh, with the fucking sledgehammer. Oh, okay. It was her to fool the shadow. Oh yeah, the shadow has to be killed, right? Oh my god, she planned ahead. So Shinpei's shadow was always already possessed? He's shitting himself. God damn. So she always did this, right? So she always did this, so the dad was already always the right one. Oh here we go.
Me too, dude. Me too. <laughs> Or maybe, oh no, Shinpei Shadow wasn't possessed, it was maybe just precaution, right? Seeing if he is a shadow or not. God damn it, dude. I like her. <laughs> he wants an autograph. Okay, here we go. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Big brain. Finally, someone that understands me. What a great episode. Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think about this episode. But yeah, I think it was very interesting because we had like a different approach, right? The last episodes we always had Shinpei start off and this episode we had Nagumo. Like her perspective, like how she got on the island, what she was doing uh, in the meantime and everything how she attempted attempted the or how she went to the funeral and got information everything and well talked with the other ones because she knew him from her childhood basically and it's very interesting to see this and that she's like really pissed about it that the shadows copy her friends and everything the people that she knew in her childhood and just fake these emotions like sadness and everything and grief and yeah it's i mean i can get it right it's very messed up it's basically like your childhood friends and everything and there's someone that just is just an imposter and yeah it's just very messy and then also ellen becomes a doppelganger and you immediately think the next day in the bistro was this the real ellen or maybe the fake ellen and well it turns out that nagumo knew what the doppelganger would ha would want to do and that there was a doppelganger and just kills him, which was pretty cool. And then when Shinpei called the hunter Genjiro, Genjiro, um, that he takes precaution because why would Shinpei know about it, right? So he takes precaution and shoots the shadow to see if he is a shadow or not. Um, because Nagumo connected the dots and is like, okay, if he calls me, how should he know about me? How would he know about me, right? So the only thing that makes sense is either it's a shadow or he must have relived this day already, right? Because otherwise we didn't have any contact except on the ship, on the ferry. And otherwise there was like no contact. So he shouldn't know about me. So she connected the dots pretty much. I mean, he could maybe know about her, uh, know about her from like people talking, but how likely would that be? And why would he be interested in her, right? Um, and yeah, then Shinpei also realizing that the parents of the little girl are already shadows because the ant goes over the shadows and they avoid the ant, which is very interesting. And 
Yeah, so that basically means also we find out that Mio is already a shadow at this point in time because she had white panties the day before and the shadow has white panties while the current Mio has like the striped panties. So everything that all the shadows are basically like from one day before that, like the, the shadows of the of the, the parents and the girl and Mio. So it's crazy when you think about it, like how far ahead are these shadows? Like how long are they planning this? What is the goal? Like, I mean, we still don't really know what the goal is, right? Except maybe awaken the mother. And for that, they have to sacrifice the people with and make them into shadows and some shit, I don't know, or energy or whatever. <clears throat> but how long are they planning this? Because from what it seems like, from what it sounds like, they the shadows were already around like 14 years ago um, when Nagumo was still on the island. and But back then there wasn't a shadow that can make shadows. That's supposedly a new thing. And I'm wondering, is it only the Mio shadow that can make shadows? Or are there mul maybe multiple ones that can make shadows? I don't know if we only saw the Mio shadow making shadows or if we saw other shadows making shadows too. If it's just one, then where did this shadow came from, right? And I mean, if shadows are a thing for like 14 years already, how, where do they come from? And if they're... If a shadow that can make shadows is a new thing, where did the other shadows came normally from, right? So, still lots of questions, more questions, and yeah, interesting to see where this is all going now. But hey, at least uh, Shinpei and Nagomo have made contact now, and it will be interesting to see where, how they work together, what their plan is. I guess they will exchange information, because Nagomo can just go, but why... By what she experienced so far, but Shinpei already knows like what is going on and has experience and knows what the end goal is, right? In a few days, so it will be interesting to see what their plan will be, how they go about it. But yeah, if you like what you see, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think, and I would say thanks for watching. Until next time, bye bye.